Aloha Pumeha Nakako, Aloha. I'd like to welcome you to the National Museum of the American Indian and this very special um, Hawaii festival. Uh, my name is Manu Boyd. I'm actually visiting here, visiting you. Uh, I'm from Honolulu. I'm a cultural consultant at Kamehameha Schools. But I'm here with our, with our um, Hawaii friends uh, to commemorate the life of King Kamehameha the Great or Kamehameha Ekahi. Um, born in the mid uh, 1700s and died 200 years ago in May of uh, 1819. So we commemorate the 200th anniversary um, of his passing uh, with, um, with arts and cultural practices that were relevant uh, to his life, uh, including the Lua. We just had a presentation uh, by Olohe Umikai and Pakui Lua. Uh, to talk about the, uh, the warrior arts, the, the, the healing arts, the bone-breaking arts, and, and those things that were involved in battle, uh, which centered uh, um, um, uh, Kamehameha's attention for much of his lifetime. We have Kavika Lum doing Hawaiian feather work, and items of the regalia made of hulu manu, or feathers, were uh, worn only by the nobility and the warrior chiefs as well. Uh, we also have uh, mea kaua, or weapons that were used in, in Hawaiian battle, Hawaiian warfare. And in, again, in honoring that, uh, that period of Kamehameha's life, when he unified all the islands under single rule. Prior to Kamehameha, each of the islands were ruled in, in smaller groups as individual island kingdoms. Uh, before we introduce the performing group, I will, I, uh, will do for you a traditional mele, what is called a mele inoa or a chant, a poem, celebrating the name, and the name of Kamehameha. So mele is a poem, inoa means name, name chant for Kamehameha, uh, a traditional collection, uh, and, and this is, uh, this is a, a, a performance of that mele. O Kamehameha la ni ka e uke ano kapu o ka haku manawa tapu ali ke na he ali ino kamu o la ni kapu o lo no no na ke kapu kavela kahana na iholo iluna o tabeki u lu ka o la ina ue tahonu a oni ke ka ina ue ue kamo ku. Ike i kalepa ko akalani Havi vale mai e kahekili Uali loi akalani nui ke kui apo i vai te tapu Napu vela makahonu a me Heino, heino ano kalani kamehameha Heino, heino ano kamehameha A name chant for Kamehameha the Great Mahalo Anui. So now, um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm just a malihini here. I'm a visitor here, like many of you are, to this beautiful place. But I am uh, honored to uh, introduce this halau, or hula school, that comes from uh, Alexandria, Virginia. Please help us welcome, and we say in Hawaiian, e pa'i pa'i lima kako, pa'i pa'i lima to applaud. Let's welcome um, halau ho'omau ho kawaiola o Hawaii. Mahalo Anui. Hello, everyone. One of the most well known Mele Lahui or Hawaii Nation song is called Kanai Ao Puni, composed by Samuel K. Kamakaia. Kanai, nai, uh, kanai Ao Puni first appeared in the print of the Kealoha Aina, the newspaper, in 1897. And like tens of thousands of Hawaiian patriots, Kamakaia was a loyal subject to Queen Liliokalani and the Hawaiian Kingdom. He served the leading role on the Committee Oka Lehulehu, which means the Citizens Committee. Kamakaia used music to express his convictions, a natural choice as he was a member of the Bana, Bana Hawaii, which is the Royal Hawaiian Band where his leadership caught the attention of Kalakawa, who honored Kamakaia, the Kamadela, the La Kamoi Kalakawa, which is the silver medal 
the Royal Order of Kalakaua. So this song honors the great chiefs of the island, Kiawe of Hawaii, Pi'ilani, who ruled the Hono Bays of Maui, Kakui Heva, which was the chief of Oahu, and Manokalani Po, king of Kauai. And it was the words that are attributed to Kamehameha Nui on his deathbed. As he counseled the chiefs surrounding him, they all agreed that only righteousness would preserve in the nation of Hawaii.
said that Kamehameha Great united the Hawaiian Islands under one ruling. Died at the Heiau in the early morning hours of May 18, 1819. That's 200 years ago. So this month marks the 200 years of Hawaii abroad, celebrating uh, Hawaii and abroad, commemorating his death and pay tribute to the Ali'i. This dance describes the clothing he wore, the red malo or loincloth, the niho palaoa, the necklace that he wore signifying Ali'i status, the feather cape and the mahi ole that he wore as well to identify him as the true leader, this chant called Kana Inui. is the most famous of the coup gods. The coup gods are battle owned by Kamehameha. Kalakaua describes the image as a soft wooden figure, roughly carved, with a headdress of yellow feathers. This god was said to utter cries during a battle which could be heard above the sounds of the flight of the fight. It was supposed to be or represent the god Kaili of Lo Liloa, which was given to Umi at the time when the rule over the land was given to Hakau to have been carefully preserved and worshipped by Umi and to have descended to Ke'ave Nui a Umi and from him to the son Lono Ikamakahiki. Kalani Opu'u gave it to Kamehameha. When Kamehameha conquered all the islands, the saying was Eku Kaili Moku. That is Kaili has risen over the islands. So at this time, we like to present to you Kukai Ilimoku with the Uli Uli or the Feather Gourd. They will imitate Kukai Ilimoku. Hey, Oh, 
traveled in their double haul canoes toward the south point on the big island of Hawaii to a place named Kalae, a place where it is believed that the first Polynesians arrived somewhere between 400 and 800 AD. As they traveled in their double haul canoes, they faced those swirling, stormy, dangerous winds that came down from the Ko'olau crater near Kilauea, headed out to sea. The pounding of water against their double haul canoes was like the making of hala, beating its way to Puna. As they move forth towards land, they see fledging birds on its first flight leaving its nest on the cliffs and out to sea. The cries of the birds sound like the striking of sticks, somewhat like the hula kalaau or hula performed with two sticks. They are the noeo birds that live on this island. Today, the Kalai area is a registered national historic landmark district. Present to you a ko'okolau kamakani kula kalao. Thank you. 
next chant describes Kamehameha the first famous birds, so sacred and full of life. These birds, there were feathers being taken, but very carefully, and they would let the birds go. This chant is called Namano Kalani Nui with the Pu'ilis. tells of the very rough life of the Kanu Pali. In the chant, it speaks of the people from Puna who rushes to their canoes to flee from the fire gods Pele in the darkness of the night while battling the treacherous forces of the rain and wind only to arrive to a peaceful place called Hanakahi. This number is called Hoe Puna.
I hope you enjoy. Are you enjoying yourself today? It's probably a lot cooler there than it is here. <laughs> well, we'd like to bring our uh, halal members out now. This is part of the group that comes uh, to our halal. The rest of all sleeping from that long luau we had last night. So, but I hope you enjoyed what we uh, prepared for you today. We'd like to do our last number song that talks about Hawaii. We are Hawaii. We are Hawaiian by blood, by heart, by soul. And we all would like to share with you. And we thank you for being here with us today. We thank Hayes, Lavis, and our sound man back there working so hard. Okay, so we're going to do for this number. <laughs> E hiki mai kako o na kiki aloha o na aina E hiki mai pena po e o ke ia aina E nane ai kaumana me ka hula kui Aloha e, aloha e, aloha kako ue From all of us to all of you, we say Aloha. Mahalo. <laughs> 